Of course, uh, it's all about the euro here this morning. We have Angela Merkel possibly heading to a fourth term, but it seems to be more focused on uh, this hung parliament in Italy right now. Is this just opening the door for more weakness? It certainly does. Uh, any any time you have uncertainty in financial markets, uh, uh, you, you're going to see uh, a little bit of uh, instability in, in currency markets as well. Look, the euro dollar has been in a 121, 125, you know, broad based range over the past month. Uh, that uh, that range remains intact. We're looking at support around that 122.50 level uh, for the short term to, to hold this, uh, uh, you know, five star anti-establishment uh, movement in uh, in Italy. Uh, usually, they, uh, you know, the anti-euro, the anti-euro uh, and anti-EU establishment sort of sentiment would see the euro come off a little bit heavier. But the fact that they've actually watered down their uh, expectations of anti-euro stance uh, should see uh, euro dollar maintain its current uh, its current sta uh, you know status in terms of the range trading that we've seen. But uh, uh, for all intents and purposes, uh, you know the polls indicate a hung parliament. It may take a little bit of time before we get this. Uh, centre-right coalition uh, formed and until that time look for the uh, euro to uh, to be bought on the dips. Yeah, uh, uh, Tony, we're, we're still seeing here, one cross I'm looking at is euro yen, uh, which has been a very interesting cross here. We've broken well below that 200-day moving average. We have a chart that shows that for our viewers, which is G hashtag BTV3535. Uh, we were talking to our uh, markets editor, Adam Haig, about why the yen is still the haven trade of choice at the moment. I mean, how big of a red flag is this now for the carry trade? Yeah, indeed. Look, the yen has strengthened, uh, what, about 5% over the past month. Uh, as you say, that safe haven status uh, has certainly come into uh, into into question. But uh, countries like Japan, Switzerland and even the Eurozone tend to do well uh, in times of uncertainty, in times of heightened geopolitical or trade war type uh, scenarios, because uh, all, those countries in particular all enjoy current account surpluses. And that's what we're seeing at the moment. The, the yen strength is primarily a function of that. Uh, also, let's not forget, we did see some employment numbers come out on uh, Friday. Uh, the unemployment rate in Japan for the month of January actually improved a tad from 2.8% to 2.4%. Mm -hmm. But the real issue there, of course, is their core inflation, which remains subdued, uh, still below that 1% level, and their target is 2%. So whilst uh, yield control is working well for the Bank of Japan, they've still got a long way to go. So I think Kuroda's comments uh, uh, recently about... Uh, you know, exiting their uh, their fiscal policy stance might just be a little bit of talk at this stage. So right. just uh, watch this space on that front.